Hello again, it's Kevin here, time for a video. This time it's test number one from Cambridge number three. We're getting very close to our end game here, uh, as you may or may not know. We started with Cambridge 18, we've gone all the way down, 17, 16, 15, etc. All the way down, currently number three, test number one. So, let's take a look. So this is the one where we've got... Um, Two charts, we've got like a bar graph chart, and we've got a line graph chart, etc. Alright. So we've got a number of Japanese tourists traveling abroad over a period of ten years. And how many of those went to Australia? What's the Australian share of a Japanese tourist market? Okay. Uh next next thing. As always. Copyright disclaimer, fair use, teaching purposes, you know the score, so get that out of the way. Now, I've written my sample, uh -huh, and I've got five student uh, responses from my Telegram group, IELTS 9 PRO. So we'll take a look at mine first. Now, 201 words, it's not too bad. Uh, introduction, as always, pretty clear. Simply paras uh, paraphrase, paraphrase, restate the topic. The bar chart illustrates how many millions of Japanese tourists went abroad, what percentage. Okay, now, like I keep saying, what's those key trends and features? What are they? Well, the only key trends and features here, really, if we take a look at this picture, is that that goes up and so does that. That's basically it. This one's pretty easy. There's only two key features. The, the, the total number of tourists traveling abroad showed a pretty significant rise over 10 years from about, was it 5 million up to 15? So that's not bad. Steady, more or less consistent growth. Um, Australian share, apart from a, a minor blip there, again, strong, consistent growth. So you can't really go too far wrong with the, um, Overview. This is why the overview here is pretty scanty. That's it. There's, there's nothing else to actually add. Yeah. So, um, as for organization, well, seems pretty clear. Paragraph three, talk about this. Paragraph four, you talk about that. Uh, not too taxing. And although it says, it usually says make, com now, you notice here, it doesn't say make comparisons. Now, perhaps this is because this is, uh, I mean, this this book came out in 2002, right? So it's uh, just over 20 years old now. But it doesn't say make comparisons because if you think about it, there's nothing to compare it with or to. Okay. Usually it says make comparisons, but not for this one. So it's simply a recitation of uh, key figures. Now, don't mention every bit of information. You don't have to mention every single this year, that year, this year, that uh, year. That's uh, a nonsense. So, being in 1985, Japanese tourist numbers, 5 million. This increased by approximately 1 million a year, 1990. Then we've got a slight fall, and then ending the period. I won't read every word. You can read it for yourself. Pretty straightforward. As for Australia, prior to 1985, zero, 2%, sharp rise, slight dip. So I haven't mentioned every single every single piece of data, but still it's 201 words. Okay. Now, some student ones to have a look at. Now, I've made a couple of changes. I haven't rewritten all of uh, their responses. Don't have time for that. So let's scroll to the top and see what we can see. Okay, so this first one's a little bit short and uh, you can see the details are a little sketchy and uh, I, I don't really overly critical but I'm not going to say a great deal about, uh, about this one. It's uh, certainly some room for improvement. Okay, so the introduction is good but then the overview doesn't really work looking at the details but there's not a lot of detail so again I don't want to be overly harsh but you can see there's some subject verbs uh, prepositions uh, articles so 
you can uh, make of that what you will. Second one, pretty similar as you can see, lots of spelling, lots of word order. Um, so again, I'm, I don't really want to say a lot there. You can see there's quite a few uh, errors. Um, the structures, not so bad, uh, but the overview right at the bottom, and it's not very clear a decline in of Tor 6. Anyway, so I won't make any more comments about that one. The next three actually are not too bad. Not too bad at all. 180 words. Um, from year, from the years, 1985, so you don't need that. Japanese people, it's a capital because it's an adjective. So when you're doing like a nationality, you know, you always have a, a capital letter. Present perfect, we don't need that because it's not present perfect. We're not comparing past and present, so simple past would do. Um, some prepositions here, on instead of in. Uh, some spelling, and then you've got this at the end. Well, it doesn't really say this number dropped lightly to what, so that could be a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Still, uh, this one's not too bad. Um, I didn't really change much. The only thing I put here is that now. You've got a discourse marker at, um, sorry, I just had a, a message ping. I thought I'd turned that off. Anyway, sorry. So um, you can see we've got furthermore following this. However, you don't need a discourse marker at the beginning of every, of every sentence. I mean, what you've got, however, subsequently to elaborate, you don't really need one. If you overuse them, that can probably score down. All right, so you don't really need um, that. And we don't have a clear overview. Well, well, no, sorry, we other do. Uh, relative surge. No, just, uh, okay, okay. So I didn't see that. Sorry, I should have scrolled uh, up and scrolled it down. So that introduction. Okay, just watch it. That article there. Okay, overview. But like I said, one thing that the examiner would certainly notice is you've got these. Discourse markers at the beginning of nearly every sentence. You don't really need it if you overuse it. We're not very, we're not very, uh, not very happy with that one. This one's not too bad. Um, one or two things had propensity, or had the pr propensity to visit, or simply visit it. So one, it's not done correctly, uh, and we don't really need it. Simply a visitor. Then you've got this here. What's this? More after, then you've got something here doesn't really give us a figure or data, so that doesn't really work. Um, I said before, the graph cannot demonstrate. You can demonstrate to me. I can demonstrate to you, but the the graph cannot. The graph can illustrate. Okay, so that's that's it basically. Not too bad. Not too bad. Some could do a bit more attention than others. I'll just put mine on the screen here. You have a peek at that. So, introduction, simple restatement, overview here, pretty straightforward, right? They both increased by quite some margin. Uh, chart one, figures, details, chart two, figures and details, that's it. 201 words. So, not so bad. I hope that helps. Next one's going to be uh, cam three, number two. So I'll see you there.